Hello guys, uh, today we are going to talk about mixing and mastering but firstly I would like to, to touch um, the mastering um, so this is my uh, first ever uh, video tutorial and I would like you to be patient about my English and explanation uh, I will try my best to explain as much uh, better as I can so um, this is the project of my remix uh, on the track uh, called We Hold On the original one uh, was made by Mintis from Estonia and Lithuania uh, nice guys my good friends um, so let's listen it without anything probably I'll put off uh, everything on master just leave the span I'll explain later what it is and uh, yeah let's listen As you can hear, uh, probably it uh, misses some high frequencies, some compression, some imaging. So basically, um, I would like to say also um, about um, that the main thing you need to do is uh, your mix down firstly, because the mastering actually is the final touch, is just a little bit. Um, of uh, editing um, at the final um, step before you export your audio. Uh, for mastering I use uh, equalization, um, sometime dynamic IQ by Isotope, uh, basically uh, all the Isotope um, plugins. Um, on the main master channel when I start to create a track, I always put um, this plugin called called Span. It's an analyzer, so you can see your frequencies easily. Um, so basically, um, another advice uh, is: do not put anything um, while you are creating your idea. I mean, you can put just Span. To see your frequencies uh, and uh, leave these sections empty or uh, bypassed because you need to to create your mix down your dry mix down um, as balanced as it could be but if you the problem is if you put the maximizer or limiter um, you will lose that um, that kind of um, um, the detailed uh, thing in your mix down uh, because the maximizer or limiter it's just uh, uh, making it smoother so you will lose um, here in the balance of in in your mix down so this is uh, the common problem of many guys because they put the limiter like uh, like this and uh, creating from the start the track so basically it, it has difference uh, and also you you limit the peaks and so on like um, you can't see how much is picking here but yeah I will touch this thing later uh, about picks it really doesn't doesn't matter um, how much it picks uh, yeah ba basically uh, I'll explain now so uh, the picks 
um, doesn't need to hurt you because um, how much it it picks um, because the main thing it it how it sounds so if it sounds good in the mix down and if it sounds still good when you put the maximizer or a limiter um, then it's all right so you don't have to to be worried about uh, the picking all right so the first thing i uh, when i do mastering i put uh, equalization and let's listen um, how it sounds with equali equalizer after You can hear that I elevated this section that it's like high end, uh, high mid, just a very high high shelf kind of. So um, as you can see, it's not that much. That means that my mix down is pretty well because uh, you can't go like um, upper than probably seven or ten. It will it will mean that your mix down uh, still needs some some work. Also, uh, it really depends on what style you make uh, because on a deeper uh, deeper style of music like techno, like deep stuff, deep stuff from drum bass doesn't need that much highs. So basically, it's it's around here on the mids, on the high mids, uh, mids, mid range, which is making that groove. Um, but of course, of course, uh, even deep stuff needs some mastering. Um, so basically, from the start, I just cut uh, these frequencies. It's it's lower than twenty. Uh, Hertz, uh, which is not hearable by human, and uh, over than uh, to uh, twenty thousand, uh, because it helps you to cut um, this kind of uh, rubbish uh, uh, frequencies from your high and lows. And um, I also sometimes I use the mid side cut. Uh, on the low cut on the uh, low frequencies is it looks like that for example you just put the mid mid and uh, choose the low cut 48 and just cut it like that uh, basically I cut it until 25 or 30 35 sometime it, it depends this particular track uh, doesn't need to to be cut it like that it's it's not a plain big roll there and i didn't fail it it should be so for example <coughs> as you can see it's not that much uh, with the mid side you can also elevate uh, on the mid uh, the mid, mid frequencies to make it a bit louder your your track will be probably a little bit louder but of course uh, to elevate it with the mi mid or side you have to get your mix down uh, well balanced uh, firstly otherwise it will it will hurt your mix down and the mastering as well so um here i guess it's um we done with with this section also the last thing i would like to mention that cutting the mid side from uh from the low frequencies will uh give you some more space here like it will kind of open your 
um, your mid and high mid frequencies uh, the bass and the kick and the snare will probably sound better and more present in the mix so that's it and uh, let's go further okay uh, the next one I used uh, bypass uh, it's bypassed okay um, the next one is uh, dynamic EQ as you can um, probably you know this it's um, it's just a compressor a multiband compressor but with EQ um, with the sim simple words and I compress here the mids and highs and let's listen how it is So you can hear that it's way better with compressing. Uh, it helps you to to elevate that, but not to lose that kind of uh, weighty sound, uh, the energy. It just uh, uh, ki keeping this kind of energy. So uh, basically, uh, it's really optional. Like it depends on on your track. You really need to to train your ears to hear it all the mastering stuff is about uh, is about hearing and training your ears until you get better try to to have a reference track for example um, this this one is a f a k um, uh, track on the keyboard on the midi keyboard so uh, try to get a reference track the same k and see um, if it sounds uh, probably the same like you can analyze always here with the span like uh, look at lows look at highs how it sounds uh, if it's uh, good or not with uh, and compare with your track um, so yeah that's all about that and um, the next one oh yes uh, sorry here you can also use the mid side section so you can basically compress the mid, mid and side um, it's like uh, working the same I showed you here but with the compression so that's it and um, the next one is the imager is probably one of the main things i like uh, and um, main things on the mastering because it makes a, a listener to feel that spacey sound this kind of stereo uh, but actually that really don't don't uh, play that much role on in the clubs because in the clubs you have mainly in the mono from the speakers and uh, you don't need that much st stereo there uh, like it's just good effect for listening in the car in the in, in, in on the um, in the headphones uh, and so on so uh, firstly uh, when I when I put on the imager I always uh, use this learn button so uh, it works pretty well uh, in isotope 7 so I don't know yet uh, about isotope 8 because still have to download it but uh, yeah uh, this this uh, lesson uh, kind of tutorial about I stop cell um, and um, then the first thing I put this one uh, to learn your sections your bands um, and next uh, stuff I'm doing is I'm adjusting these sections 
<coughs> so you have bands of lows, mids, uh, high mids, and highs. Uh, I'm sure many of you guys know this. Just uh, uh, again to underline and uh, to mention this because some of you could be a newcomer and um, so still need to be explained because uh, many artists miss uh, the basics and uh, um, I think it's good to repeat the basics just to not lose it um, so I start from the lows uh, basically I put the lows less uh, stereo as you maybe know uh, uh, sub and bass fre uh, frequencies should be powerful should be concentrated and uh, so that makes it um, like less stereo more powerful um, as you can see And this track al already has been mastered, but it's always <laughs> the question about mastering. What do you want? Uh, what do you hear after some time? For example, me uh, didn't uh, hear in a while this track, and for example, now I want even like 25, so it was 20. Um, another advice just uh, try to. Uh, to get to what I what I mean like if you um, if you make mastering uh, it's it's way better if you make in mastering like you're uh, good with it uh, you leave completely the track um, just don't don't listen to it like in uh, don't listen to it for a week uh, or a few days and then listen it to it again and if you um, if you're good with it then just go and release it <laughs> but if you don't um, try to adjust it a bit more maybe add some some stuff here um, so yeah I explained about the, the lows uh, as you as you heard it's it's way less powerful on the bass section on the subsection if you put it uh, higher so don't do this like uh, then uh, the most hearable uh, section is the mids and this is the place you need to be careful um, So as you can hear, um, let's uh, let me explain you once again, and let's hear it again in in comparison. Like um, when you put it uh, a lot, uh, it sounds. I mean, uh, it loses the powerful on the low mid. Just listen it again. So um, just losing that kind of energy and uh, uh, concentrated sound. So it, it may because of making stereo more stereo. Uh, all the imaging is is about stereo. So basically, you can see that I did it like um, um, like a riser uh, kind of line riser um, on the on the bands uh, the next section is high mids you can make it a little bit higher because it's less hearable than this section than uh, the mids and highs uh, even less hearable so you can adjust it even more Um, 
so it also these all the options uh, of these sections is really depends on how you hear and uh, what do you want from your track like uh, if you want to be that much stereo or you don't want you, you want to keep it more natural uh, I like more natural sound as uh, like not to not make that much difference between the um, mix down and uh, uh, and the mastering uh, so I forgot to l to let you listen with imagine uh, with imager and without so uh, let's listen So you can hear that it's uh, a little bit wider. It's not um, destroying the the mix down and the energy of the track. Uh, and the last thing I would like to mention about uh, Imager um, is this section stereoize. It really um, can be and useful if you put it a lot because uh, uh, I mentioned this because uh, many of our uh, some of guys not maybe many but some of some of guys using like 20 uh, because they feel it's good it's sounding nice and in fact in fact, it it's just uh, killing once again the energy. This kind of too much uh, making too much uh, stereo. Um, so I would advise to adjust the bands here, and just to put a little bit more uh, on here, like not not that much. As you can see, two point five is just uh, at the start. Um, try to not use the maximum because yeah it, it can be um, it can have that kind of um, uh, se um, feeling that it's better it's um, sounding more in much more interesting but not uh, on my on my opinion it's just uh, destroying some energy all right um, and the last section um, is maximizer. So um, it's a typical setting here. Like from the start, what I do, I always put auto blanking, the limit peaks. So then um, I put the IRC4 modern uh, modern uh, setting and. Uh, uh, I put uh, the selling uh, like minus 0 0.4 or uh, or 3 something like that uh, but I would advise you do not go um, more than minus 1 dB uh, because it will um, kind of uh, hurt your compressing and uh, your compressing information and um, your information which is compre compressing so something like that uh, I'm not really a scientist in in this kind of <laughs> uh, stuff but um, I heard uh, a while ago uh, the information about this so yeah just keep it the headroom about minus uh, zero three four five something like that and uh, what about the threshold uh, try to not go uh, more than minus six basically another good tip is that always uh, use the maximum setting and just adjust it um, until you, you are happy uh, with it 
until it sounds natural it sounds not over compressed it sounds just um, um, just not that uh, big different to your actual mix down so um, let's listen it with and without So uh, basically, uh, these kind of tracks, um, ma um, they must be, it's kind of mainstream uh, neuro funk drum bass. So um, I would say that it has to be loud enough, uh, and uh, that's why I put it uh, like minus three. I wanted it to be loud enough in while I'm mixing in the class, but basically i could uh, put it even like minus 2.5 uh, and just uh, put a higher volume on your master on the mixer in the club so and um, but the main thing uh, that about the thresholding is that if you put it a lot uh, then you can easily destroy your mix down your uh, with the mastering and uh, uh, basically when you will play this thing in the club it will hurt ears first first of all of the listeners it will um, probably damage at some point the audio system uh, but if you put it just threshold uh, not that much you can always always put higher volume on the speakers uh, on the in the club I mean so um, it's really optional like if you want um, to make it a middle middle gold uh, loudness just try to do this do not over uh, compress it um, and also the maximizer makes uh, the sound smoother as you can hear it's uh, without you can hear um, it much more visible than um, the snare and kick but with the compression With the compression, it make it makes it a little bit smoother. It makes um, like um, the bass, the the kick, and the snare sounding like all in harmony. So um, it seems that it kills the dynamics, but sometimes it's very good uh, to have this kind of effect um, while you're like playing. Um, because nowadays the drum bass is changing and uh, uh, sometimes it's, it's a good effect like you have uh, visible the first hit the kick and then you have the smooth uh, structure so it depends on the track it depends on the mix down it depends on the mastering um, and it depends on what you hear and what you want uh, basically this is what I uh, this all what I use for mastering um, typical uh, usually but also I would like to mention about um, this plugin um, 
this is uh, this is good plugin for meat and side gain as you can see uh, it's completely free uh, it's from Vexango and uh, you can uh, actually um, if you miss some side or meat uh, after a queue you can adjust it here just a little bit like uh, but of course you you must put it uh, before the the limiter maximizer so um, and uh, just Like, uh, for example, now I hear that uh, maybe uh, the side could be a little bit lower, but yeah, it, uh, it's still fine on zero, on just zero. I just wanted to mention this plugin that uh, that could do, could do really nice work. Like um, when you reduce the side, it's, um, it begins to sound uh, more um, more on the mid so it acts uh, for your ears like it's sounding more uh, much more compressed and uh, it gives you more energy uh, you feel it you feel like it it uh, ha it has more energy uh, so you can use this uh, section for example if you feel uh, that your track is too much stereo too much uh, of uh, uh, it, it lost too much energy then you uh, while you you were um, um, making the mix down uh, here so and after uh, on the mastering you can you can just adjust it here but of course the minus is that you can't adjust it like you did it for example in Im imager isotope is imager which allows you to uh, to work with the bands so that's the minus like is as i told you uh, after after the um, eq imagine and stuff you have this final touch and it's really helps and um, another plugin for i use it uh rar but um, you can use it also as um, a bit uh, distortion uh, for your for your track. For example, let's put it off and um, like instead of um, if you feel that your track is a little bit dry and you need to to have some uh, some more uh, kind of energy uh, so I tube it at some some time Like 
you have to be really careful with this one uh, just if you can see like two four percent of tube uh, it makes a little bit um, distortion on the on the, on the track uh, but yeah you have to to be careful to not kill the energy uh, to not kill the uh, the mix down because uh, after you put the maximizer it it can sound really uh, distorted over compressed um, so basically this plugin I use uh, mainly on the kicks snare like sometime uh, and the, um, and even percussions hats uh, uh, basses like for everything I use like mid mid cut section and it's really good but this uh, this particular pro plugin is better to explain in the mix down uh, video so uh, for now I would like to thank you for attention and uh, and uh, like see you in the next one bye bye